This month in Norventas blog, we are dealing with PV solar energy. We have invited Clara Alonso, research scientist at the Emergence Materials Group at the Institute for Photovoltaics of Stuttgart University. There, she researched on a new material called perovskite. Welcome, Clara, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. The interview will be conducted by my colleague, Luis Jiménez, PV business manager at Norvento. Welcome, Luis. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Welcome, Clara, and we are very grateful for your participation in this, in this blog. Thank you very much. Uh, mm -hmm. A pleasure to be here. <laughs> So at the, at the Institute for Photovoltaics, uh, you're part of the Emerging Materials Group. Uh, one of uh, your RD projects focuses on a material called perovskite. Mm -hmm. What is perovskite and uh, <laughs> what are its possible applications? Okay, well, good question. <laughs> well, yes, perovskite is uh, uh, one of the thin film technologies now in, in photovoltaic uh, field. Uh, and it's a well. It was a mineral um, uh, discovered by Led Perovsky uh, time ago, and now uh, we are trying to synthesize the same structure, uh, which is um, formed by metal cations and organic cations and alites, uh, and it presents a lot of um, advantages. You know, uh, the it presents uh, with these advantages. It has a lot of applications uh, beyond photovoltaics. Uh, it can be used for uh, light emitting diodes, like uh, for optical sensing, biosensing, and also uh, as photo detection, like for uh, scintillators or also uh, X-ray detectors. Also, it uh, has been used for smart windows uh, because of its uh, thermochromic properties, laser technology as well. Um, well, it's and also well, lately it's it's been used for space application uh, as solar cells because uh, it's a solution process material which uh, increase uh, their potentially for the light weight they have and uh, the possibility to to perform in the flexible substrate. So it has uh, plenty of uh, applications. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so, so you mentioned a lot of uh, applications of the yeah. uh, first kit, but let's say be more specific. Uh, what could be the advantages of first kit uh, solar cells mm -hmm. compared to current uh, silicon solar cells? And uh, you, you already talked <laughs> talk on, on some of the application and, 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 and advantages, mm -hmm. but are there any disadvantages uh, related to that technology? Yes, well, unfortunately, yes, uh, not not its all uh, <laughs> advantages. Um, it has uh, because its its components, its primary components are uh, mainly based in lead cations. So the toxicity of lead is one of the huge problem of this technology. Uh, actually, it's not the amount of lead in the perovskite composition is not uh, that much uh, to be very very um, uh, dangerous. Let's say but uh, still it's not like a uh, green friendly uh, so uh, our, our research uh, groups are um, focusing now into make a substitution of the lead for another uh, metal cations to to remove this uh, toxicity part and the other main disadvantage of this uh, material uh, which is quite funny because uh, it's very sensitive to uh, moisture condition and oxygen condition which is Controversial, of course, because it's mm -hmm. a solar cell, so <laughs> we are trying to to reduce this sensitivity, uh, replacing the organic part of this material for an inorganic part, and also we are trying to improve the encapsulation techniques. With um, in fact, it's also uh, this encapsulation techniques is also used for silicon technology a long time ago, no? because uh, you need to protect not only for the uh, ambient but also for uh, climatological uh, events. So yes, uh, these are the, the two main uh, disadvantages that Perovskite presents. Yeah. And, <laughs> and moving from, let's say, negative to positive, <laughs> what are the advantages com compared to, to, to <laughs> silicon solar cells? Well, in fact, it has a lot, a lot of advantages. The, the, the main one, uh, which is related with the, the rest, is that it's a solution process material. So it means that we can just synthesize in the lab in a, in a, with a very uh, cheap cost um, and in a very thin film, no, directly deposited on the, on the substrate. 
Uh, so it means that first guys um, can be deposited on yeah first use of trade as well, and also uh, is um, semi-transparent. So it means that uh, comparing with silicon, that is uh, literally a rock <laughs> and it's opaque. Uh, so we can um, develop like uh, solar panels in buildings, uh, and it's uh, in fact it's already done by a company uh, placed in Poland, which is Saule Technology. Mm -hmm. And also, well, Oxford PV and Tuesday are making this uh, uh, um, commercial or industrial uh, part of the Pearl Sky because there is no, and, and it lights weight also is, is a very, very good advantage for many applications. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so I mean, you, you're, you're mentioning a lot of uh, applications, let, but let's say from, uh, well, when do you estimate that uh, uh, Pearl Sky solar cells uh, will be commercialized well it's difficult to to say a specific date of course but um recently uh, a new uh, has appeared for the uh, uh, nrel laboratory in, in usa so they are uh, investing the, the energy department of usa and investing uh, 40 million dollars in perovskite technology so that means this technology it will be uh, promote a lot Mm -hmm. And in fact, there are uh, in Europe, uh, there are a lot of uh, companies, as I already mentioned, no? Oxford PV, Solar Technology, Chose, and also in, in the Helmut Center Berlin, it's not a company, it's a research mm -hmm. center. But um, they are focusing on uh, making silicon perovskite tandem solar cell. And this is, I think, the way to commercialize perovskite, no? yeah. not only uh, not by itself, because it's not, uh, yeah, I mean, silicon is governing all the photovoltaic markets, so it, it will be a pity to discharge uh, this uh, technology. So, like, take advantage of this, put mm -hmm. in the pearl sky on the top. Okay, so you, you basically see, like, like not not the, 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 the pearl sky not replacing the silicon cells, but rather uh, coexisting with that technology. Exactly, exactly. Yes, completely, completely. Uh, because uh, the well, the, the the bang up of both materials are, are, are complementary. So we can uh, take the advantage of both to catch the whole <laughs> almost uh, solar spectrum. So we can duplicate double the, the efficiency uh, with a very very uh, low additional cost. Yes, yeah. that's that's interesting because. Um, as, as you know, the, the, the uh, let's say conventional mm -hmm. uh, silicon man, man, module manufacturers are looking for ways to reduce uh, yeah. cost. And uh, basically, in terms on uh, cost, do, do you have a certain feeling on how much this could represent, or or what would be the savings? Uh, both, uh, exactly the cost um, is is hard to to say. In fact, there are plenty of uh, research papers right now rising up, um, especially focused on that. No, to make a, a deep analysis about the cost and efficiency balance. Uh, the latest news and the latest research uh, says that um, it's it's uh, still uh, cost effective. effective. Mm -hmm. So uh, regarding the, the efficiency that we can uh, achieve, so it's uh, yeah, it's it could be done. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very very interesting. I mean, it's yeah. to to keep an eye on 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 it. Yes, yes, we will hear uh, the name of Pearl Sky a lot of time, I think, in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, so let's say, apart from uh, uh, Pearl Sky, is there any any other project carried out by the Institute for PV that you would like uh, you would like to mention or to talk about? Yeah, well, we have a, a lot of uh, projects, but uh, they are all related with Peroscat because we are the emerging material group and we are um, being part of the Institute for Photovoltaics, which is uh, mostly a focus on silicon technology. So uh, a part of uh, the photovoltaic per se, making uh, trying to make silicon and peroscite tandem as well. Uh, we are trying to to address projects as uh, well scintillators and, and the application of peroscoring in photo detection, mm -hmm. and also um, uh, yes, I mean trying to to reduce the toxicity and improve the stability of the of the material. So all all our uh, research projects are focusing on peroscite in its many application and possibilities. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Many thanks, Clara, for your for your input. Welcome, and thanks to let's, you. Let's see, let's see the evolution of this uh, uh, pearl scan, <laughs> which is really promising. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, definitely. <laughs> thanks a lot.